Hey guys, this is SkyCrossM5 here reviewing a really awesome calculator that I have grown to really like. This is the Texas Instruments 36X Pro Engineering and Scientific Calculator. I previously had been using the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition, the graphing calculator exclusively, up since middle school really. But there are definitely some classes in college that they don't want you to use the graphing method. I guess it's a little bit too much of a cheap thing and plus it's programmable. So this is a non-programmable calculator that you can use on most exams. In fact, this is one of the few calculators that are acceptable for the FE, otherwise known as the Fundamental of Engineering Licensing Exam. So that is precisely why I decided to pick this up off Amazon for just around 20 bucks. If you've used TI calculators previously, you will know that they have primarily second layer functions that you can be accessed using the second button and also the navigational arrow keys at the upper right corner and also the multi-lane uh, viewable screen. In this case, you can view up to four lines of mathematical functions. However, there are some notable differences between it and its bigger brother, the TI-84 graphing calculator, mainly because of the missing program features and also obviously the graphing features, but it also has different buttons to accommodate for actually a more modern look in mathematical expression as opposed to the more linear fashion that my old TI-84 had. For example, when you take something to a power, you can clearly see that it is raised to an exponent, and you can even raise it exponents up to an exponent, and it will actually stack on top of each other like so. Fractions are also displayed more easier on the eyes, and of course you can use the arrow pad to reach whatever position of the fraction that you need to get to. So because of this, gone is the inverse button, instead it is a 1 over a blank box to indicate that it is an inverse fraction. This calculator also features cyclable functions in addition to the second layer buttons, which I mean by, for instance, the logarithmic function. You can have the natural log, also the natural log base 10, and then you can even specify your own base of log that you can use just by cycling through that log button. And now the way of storing values has changed as well. At first, I didn't quite get it because I was much more used to the older design, but I think this newer way is much more intuitive. So say I wanted to store, say, the number 5 because it shows up in an expression a lot, and I've put 5 to store as x using the sort button right here, and then when I want to recall it, I can just press the x button again. And because the variable button is also a cyclable button, so you can press it up to 8 times to store up to 8 different numbers. Besides the basic number inputs, you can also have various different programs and solvers that are geared towards many different aspects of engineering, including calculus, so you can do derivatives and also definite integrals, and both are displayed in that newer math print option. There also are plenty of functions for statistics as well. You can do hypothesis tests, you can do distributions, probability, like permutation, combinations, factorials, and there's also a random number generator that is very easy to use. You can simply ask the calculator to generate any rational number with a lot of decimal places, or if you want an integer, you can set your own interval uh, that you want to pick a number from. You can also input various data, so you can put a regression on them as well, and there's also plenty of algebraic tools as well, so you can do systems of equation solvers, there's also of course polynomial solvers, so you don't need to worry about remembering the quadratic formula anymore. And there's also linear algebra functions too, you can input matrices, also vectors, and then perform functions on those as well. And an awesome thing about this calculator is that if you have a user inputted error, the errors now are much more specific, so it's easier for you to fix what you've done wrong. But that's not all. This calculator is also packed with a lot of other handy features, including well-known constants with customizable units. There are also plenty of built-in unit conversions as well, and there's even a dedicated conversion button here where the plus sign should be, uh, but it is able to convert from fractions to decimals to percentages to rationalized numbers just with a touch of a button, which can be quite handy, though I think it's placed at a really bad location. Because I was so used to using the TI-84 where the plus button would be, I'm constantly pressing this conversion button accidentally, so I have to always fix my expression whenever I input this instead of the wanted plus sign. But in addition to all these features that I have aforementioned, there are still plenty of other hidden gems in this calculator that I just don't have time to cover, but if you want me to cover all the details in a separate video, just let me know your interest in the comment section down below. And as with all TI calculators, this is highly customizable. With the mode button, you can change, for instance, degrees to radians, and you also can change even the format of how the expressions are shown from the default math print back to the classic linear expression style. 
And you can adjust the screen contrast using the second key and also the buttons here on the right side. And just to mention briefly the exterior, since I've been pretty much going over all the software that's programmed in this calculator, we have of course the lid, which is not sliding like the TI-84 does. It's just kind of a snap-on lid and it just fits into the little divots here. I kind of prefer the sliding one, but this still kind of works too. It has grip pads all along the exterior, so you have no problems with this calculator staying put when you want it to. Then on the inside of the lid is a quick reference guide, so in case you haven't memorized all the functions that I've shown in this video, this is a nice little way that you can just jog your memory. And of course, this thing needs to be powered somehow, and for the most part, it is able to be powered by this little solar panel here up in the front. But it also takes a coin battery, which is a little bit difficult to access through removing the screws on the back of the device. But from my time of using this, I had no problems uh, with this losing battery. I have not had to change the battery once at all. So I can definitely hands down recommend this to any STEM major or professional. And especially if you are an engineer and you want to take the NCEES licensing exam at some point, or even if you don't, this is definitely a great calculator to get. It has all the programs that you need for pretty much all of your technical classes. So look no further, I'll put the product link in the descriptions where you can get it at the best price. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. You'd be greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, Skyfirst95, if you haven't already, to get more content like this. Or if you're watching this on Amazon, head over to my channel URL right here, or just search it up on YouTube, Skyfirst95. There you'll see a bunch of my product reviews and unboxings. Feel free to browse, or if you want to search for something specific, just hit that search field. That'll do it for this video. This is Skyfirst95. Thanks for watching.